from around the globe, it's theCUBE, with digital coverage of HPE GreenLake Day, made possible by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Okay, we're now going to dive right into some of the news and, and get into the GreenLake announcement details. And with me to do that is Keith White, who's the Senior Vice President and General Manager for GreenLake Cloud Services at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Keith, thanks for your time. Great to see you. Hey, thanks so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Hey, you're welcome. So listen, before we get into the hard news, can you give us an update on, on just GreenLake and the business? How's it going? You bet. No, it's fantastic. And thanks, you know, for the opportunity again. And hey, I hope everyone's at home staying safe and healthy. Uh, it's been a great year for HPE GreenLake. There's a ton of momentum that we're seeing in the marketplace. Uh, we've booked over $4 billion of total contract value to date, and that's over a thousand customers worldwide. And frankly, it's worldwide. It's in 50, 50 different countries. And this is a variety of solutions, variety of workloads. So really just tons of momentum. Um, but it's not just about accelerating the current momentum. It's really about listening to our customers, staying ahead of their demands, delivering more value to them, and really executing on the HPE GreenLake promise. Great, thanks for that. And, and really great detail and congr congratulations on the progress, but I know you're not done. So let's, let's get to the news. What do people need to know? Awesome. Yeah, you know, there's three things that we want to share with you today. So first is all about computing, so I can go into some details on that. Uh, we're actually delivering new industry workloads, which I think will be exciting for a lot of the major industries that are out there. And then we're expanding our HPE capabilities just to make things easier and more effective. So first off, you know, we're excited to announce today uh, an acceleration of mainstream as adoption for high performance computing through HPE GreenLake. And, you know, in essence, what we're really excited about is this whole idea of um, it's, a, it's a unique opportunity to provide customers with the power of an agile, elastic, pay-per-use cloud experience with HPE's market C systems. So pretty soon any enterprise will be able to tackle their most demanding compute and data intensive workloads, power artificial intelligence and machine learning initiatives to provide better business insights and outcomes, and again, providing things like faster time to insight and accelerated innovation. So today's news is really, really going to help speed up deployment of HPC projects by 75% and reduce TCO by up to 40% for customers. That's awesome. Excited to learn more about the HPC uh, piece especially. So tell us what's really different about the news today from your perspective? No, that's, that's a great thing. And, and the idea is um, to really help customers with their business outcomes, from building safer cars, to improving their manufacturing lines with sustainable materials, uh, advancing discovery for drug treatment, especially in this time of COVID, uh, or making critical millisecond decisions for those finance markets. So you'll see a lot of benefits and a lot of differentiation for customers uh, in a variety of different scenarios and industries. Yeah, so I wonder if you could talk a little bit more about specifically, you know, exactly what's new. Can you unpack some of that for us? You bet. Well, what's key is that any enterprise will be able to run their modeling and simulation workloads in a fully managed, because we manage everything for them, pre-bundled. So we'll give folks this idea of small, medium, and large HPE HPC services to operate in any data center or in a colo location. Um, these workloads are almost impossible to move to the public cloud because the data is so large or it needs to be close by for latency issues. Oftentimes people have concerns about IP protection or applications uh, and how they run uh, within that, that local environment. So if customers are betting their business on this insight and analytics, which many of them are, they need business critical performance and experts to help them with implementation and migration, as well as they want to see resiliency. So is this a do it yourself model? In other words, you know, the customer has to have to manage it on their own or uh, how are you helping there? No, it's a great question. So the fantastic thing about HPE GreenLake is that we manage it all for the customer. And so in essence, they don't have to worry about anything on the back end. Uh, we can offload that, uh, we manage capacity, we manage performance, we manage updates and all of those types of things. So we really make it, make it super simple. And you know, we're offering these bundled solutions featuring our HPE Apollo systems, 
uh, that are purpose built for running things like modeling and simulation workloads. Um, and again, because it's it, it's GreenLake and because it's cloud services, this provides self service, provides automation, and you know customers can actually. Um, manage however they want to. We can do it all for them. They can do some on their own. It's really super easy and it's really up to them on how they want to manage that system. Keith, what about analytics? You know, you get a lot of people who want to dig deeper into the data. How are you supporting that? Yeah, analytics is key. And so one of the best things about this HPC implementation is that we provide an open platform. So customers have the ability to leverage whatever tools they want to do for analytics. They can manage whatever systems they want, want to pull data from. So they really have a ton of flexibility. But the key is because it's HPE GreenLake and because it's HPE's market leading HPC systems, they get the fastest they get the, uh, it all managed for them. They only pay for what they use, so they don't need to write a huge check for a large upfront. And frankly, um, they get the best of, of all those worlds together in order to come up with things that matter to them, which is that true business outcome, true analytics, uh, for, so that they can make the decisions they need uh, to run their business. Yeah, that's awesome. You guys clearly making some, some good progress here. Actually, I see it really as a game changer for the types of customers that you described. I mean, particularly those folks that, you, like you said, Keith, they, they can't move stuff into the cloud. They've got to stay on-prem, but they want that cloud experience. Uh, I mean, that's, that's really exciting. Uh, we're going to have you back in a few minutes to talk about the GreenLake cloud services and, and some of the new industry platforms that you see evolving. Awesome, thanks so much, I look forward to it. Yeah, us too. So, okay, right now we're going to check out a conversation that I had earlier with Pete Ungaro and Addison Snell on HPC. Let's watch. Welcome everybody to this Spotlight session here at GreenLake Day. We're going to dig into high performance computing. Let me first bring in Pete Ungaro, who's the GM for HPC and Mission Critical Solutions at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. And then we're going to pivot to Addison Snell, who's the CEO of research firm Intersect 360. So Pete, starting with you, welcome. And uh, really a pleasure to have you here. I want to first start off by asking you, what are the key trends that you see in the HPC and supercomputing space? And I really appreciate if you could talk about how customer consumption patterns are changing. Yeah, uh, appreciate that, Dave, and, and thanks for having me. You know, I think the biggest thing that we're seeing is just the massive growth of data. And as we get larger and larger data sets, uh, larger and larger models happen. And we're having more and more new ways to compute on that data. So new algorithms like AI would be a great example of that. And, and as people are starting to see this, especially as they're going through digital transformations, you know, more and more people, I believe, can take advantage of HPC, but maybe don't know how and don't know how to get started. Uh, and so, they're, they're looking for how to get going into this environment. And many customers that are longtime HPC customers, you know, just consume it on their own data centers. They have that uh, capability, but many don't. And so they're looking at how can I do this? Do I need to build up that capability myself? Do I go to the cloud? Uh, what about my data and where that resides? So there's a lot of things that are going into thinking through how do I start to take advantage of this new infrastructure? Excellent, I mean, we all know HPC workloads. You're talking about supporting research and discovery for some of the, the toughest and most complex problems, particularly those that are affecting society. So I'm interested in your thoughts on how you see GreenLake helping in these endeavors specifically. Yeah, one of the most exciting things about HPC is just the impact that it has, you know, everywhere from, you know, building safer cars and airplanes to uh, looking at climate change uh, to, you know, finding new vaccines for things like COVID uh, that we're all dealing with right now. So one of the biggest things is, is how do we take advantage of that and use that to, you know, benefit society overall and as we think about implementing HPC, you know, how do we get started and then how do we grow and scale as we get more and more capability? So that's the biggest things that we're seeing on that front. Yeah, so, okay, so just about a year ago, you guys launched the Green Lake Initiative and the whole, you know, complete focus on as a service. So I'm, I'm curious as to how the new Green Lake 
services, the HPC services specifically as it relates to GreenLake. How do they fit into HPE's overall high performance computing portfolio and the strategy? Yeah, great question. You know, GreenLake is, is a new consumption model for us. So it's a very exciting. We, we keep our entire HPC portfolio that we have today, but extend it. Uh, with GreenLake and offer customers, you know, expanded consumption choices. So, you know, customers that potentially are dealing with the growth of their data or they're moving to uh, digital transformation applications, they can use GreenLake to easily scale up from workstations to, you know, manage their system costs or operational costs, or, or if they don't have staff to expand their environment, uh, GreenLake provides all of that in a managed infrastructure for them. So uh, if they're going from like a pilot environment up into a production environment over time, GreenLake enables them to do that very simply and easily without having to have all that internal infrastructure, uh, people, uh, computer data centers, et cetera. GreenLake provides all that for them so they can have a turnkey solution for HPC. So a lot easier entry strategies. A key, key uh, word that you used there was choice though. So basically you're providing optionality. You're not necessarily forcing them into a particular model. Is that correct? Yeah, 100%, Dave. What we want to do is just expand the choices so customers can uh, buy uh, and acquire and use that technology to their advantages whether they're large or small, whether they're you know, a startup or a Fortune 500 company, uh, whether they have their own data centers or they want to you know, use a colo facility, uh, whether they have their own staff or not, we want to just provide them the opportunity to take advantage of this uh, leading edge resource. Very interesting, Pete. I really appreciate the perspectives that you guys are bringing to the market. I mean, it seems to me it's going to really accelerate broader adoption of, of high performance computing to, to the masses, really giving them an easier entry point. I, I want to bring in now Addison Snell to the discussion. Addison, he's the CEO, as I said, of Intersect 360, which in my view is the world's leading market research company focused on HPC. Addison, you've been following this space for a while. You're an expert. You've seen a lot of changes over the years. What do you see as the critical aspects in, in the market, specifically as it relates toward this as a service delivery that we were just discussing with Pete. And, and I wonder if you could sort of work in there, the benefits uh, in terms of, in your view, how it's going to affect HPC usage broadly. Yeah, good morning, Dave. And thanks very much for having me, Pete. It's great to see you again. So we've been tracking a lot of these utility computing models in high performance computing for years, particularly as most of the usage uh, by revenue is actually by uh, commercial endeavors using high performance computing for their R&D and engineering projects and the like. And cloud computing has been a major portion of that and, and has the highest growth rate uh, in the market right now where we're seeing this double digit growth that accounted for uh, about $1.4 billion of the high performance computing industry last year. But the bigger trend, uh, and which makes GreenLake really interesting, is that we saw an additional about a billion dollars worth of spending outside what was directly measured in the cloud portion of the market in, in areas that we deemed to be cloud-like, which were as a service types of contracts that were still utility computing, but they might be under a software as a service portion of the budget under software or some other management services type of contract uh, that the user wasn't reporting directly as cloud, but, but was certainly influenced by utility computing. And, and I think that's going to be a really dominant uh, portion of the market going forward in when we look at uh, growth rate and, and where the market's been evolving. So that's interesting. I mean, basically you're saying this, you know, the utility model is not brand new. We've seen that for years. Cloud was obviously a catalyst that gave that a boost. What is new, you're saying is, and I, I'll say it this way, I'd love to get your independent perspective on this, is sort of the definition of cloud is expanding, where it's, you know, we, people always say it's not a place, it's an experience, and I couldn't agree more. But I wonder if you could give us your independent perspective on that, you know, both on the thoughts of what I just said, but also, you know, how would you rate HPE's position in this market? 
Well, you're right. Absolutely. The, the definition of cloud is expanding. And that's a challenge when we run our surveys that we try to be pedantic in a sense and define exactly what we're talking about. And that's how we're able to measure both the direct usage of a, of a typical public cloud, uh, but also a, a more flexible notion of as a service. Now, you asked about HPE in particular, and that's extremely relevant, uh, not only with GreenLake, but with their broader presence in high performance computing. HPE is the number one provider of systems for high performance computing worldwide. And, and that's largely based on the breadth of HPE's offerings in addition to their performance in various segments. So uh, picking up a lot of the commercial market with their HPE Apollo Gen 10 Plus, they hit a lot of big memory configurations with the Superdome Flex and scale up to some of the most powerful supercomputers in the world with the uh, HPE Cray EX platforms uh, that go into some of the leading uh, national labs. Now GreenLake gives them an opportunity to offer this kind of flexibility to customers uh, rather than commit Bidding all at once to a particular purchase price. But if you wanted to position those on a utility computing basis, pay for them as a service without committing to a particular public cloud, uh, I think that's an interesting role for GreenLake to play in the market. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I mean, we, earlier this year, we celebrated Exascale Day with, with the support from HPE. And it really is all about a community and an ecosystem. There's a lot of camaraderie uh, going on in the in the the space that you guys are, are deep into. Addison, just as we can wrap, what should observers expect in this HPC market and this space over the next few years? Yeah, that's a great question, what to expect, because if 2020 has taught us anything, it's the hazards of forecasting where we think the market <laughs> is going. And when we put out a market forecast, we tend not to look at huge things like unexpected pandemics or wars, uh, but it's relevant to the topic here, because as I said, we were already forecasting cloud and as a service models growing. Anytime you get into uncertainty, where it becomes less easy to plan for where you want to be in two years, three years, five years. That model speaks well to things that are cloud or as a service to do very well flexibly. And therefore, when we look at the market and plan out where we think it is in 2020, 2021, anything that accelerates uncertainty uh, actually is going to increase the need for something like GreenLake or an as a service or cloud type of environment. So we're expecting those sorts of deployments to come in over and above where we were already previously expecting them in 2020, 2021, because as a service deals well with uncertainty. And that's just the world we've been in recently. I think those are, those are great comments and, and a really good framework. And we've seen this with the pandemic, the pace at, at which the technology industry in particular, and of course HPE specifically have responded to support that. Uh, your, your, your point about agility and flexibility being crucial. And I'll go back to something earlier that Pete said around the data, the sooner we can get to the data to analyze things, whether it's compressing the time to a vaccine or pivoting our businesses, the better off we are. So I want to thank Pete and Addison for your perspectives today. Really great stuff, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, keep it right there for more great insights and content. You're watching GreenLake Day. All right, great discussion on HPC. Now we're going to get into some of the new industry examples and some of the case studies and new platforms. Keith, HPE GreenLake, it's moving forward. That's clear. You're picking up momentum with customers. But can you give us some examples of platforms for industry use cases and some specifics around that? Yeah, you bet. And actually, you'll hear more details from Arwa Kadura. She leads our GreenLake to market efforts in just a little bit. But specifically, I want to highlight some examples where we provide cloud services to help solve some of the most demanding workloads on the, on the planet. So first off, in financial services, for example, traditional banks are facing increased competition and evolving customer expectations. They need to transform so that they can reduce risk, manage costs, and provide a differentiated customer experience. We'll talk about a platform for Splunk uh, that does just that. Second, in healthcare institutions, they face a growing list of challenges, some due to the COVID-19 pandemic and others years in the making, like our aging population and rise in chronic disease is really driving up demands and it's straining capital budgets. 
These global trends create a critical need for transformation to, to improve that patient experience and their business outcomes. Another example is in manufacturing. They're facing many challenges in order to remain competitive, right? They need to be able to identify new revenue streams, run more efficiently uh, from an operation standpoint, and scale their resources. So you'll hear more about how we're optimizing and delivery for manufacturing with SAP HANA. And Arwa's gonna highlight a little more detail on today's news, how we're delivering supercomputing through HPE GreenLake at scale, and finally, how we have a robust ecosystem of partners to help enterprises easily deploy these solutions. For example, I think today you're gonna to be talking to Skip Bacon from Splunk. Yeah, absolutely, we sure are. And some really great examples there, especially in a couple industries that, that stood out. I mean, financial services and healthcare, they're ripe for transformation and maybe disruption if, if, if they don't move fast enough. So Keith, we'll be coming back to you a little later today to, to wrap things up, so, so thank you. Now, now we're going to take a look at how HPE is partnering with Splunk and how GreenLake complements data-rich workloads. Let's watch. We're now going to dig deeper into a data-oriented workload and how HPE GreenLake fits into this use case. And with me is Skip Bacon, Vice President of Product Management at Splunk. Skip, good to see you. Good to see you as well, Dave. So let's talk a little bit about Splunk. I mean, you guys are a dominant player in security and analytics. And I, you know, it's funny, Skip, I used to comment that during the big data, the rise of big data, Splunk really never positioned themselves as this big data player and you know, all that hype, but, but you became kind of the leader in big data without really even you know, promoting it. It just sort of happened overnight and you're really now rapidly moving toward a subscription model. You're making some strategic moves in the M&A front. Give us your perspective on what's happening at the company and why customers are so passionate about your software. Sure, a great, great setup, Dave, thanks. So, yeah, you know, let's start with the data that's underneath big data, right? I think, I think as usual, the industry sort of seizes on a term and never stops to think about what it really means. Sure, one big part of big data is your transaction stuff, right? The things that get generated by all of your oracles and your SCP apps that reflect how the business actually occurred. But a much bigger part is all of your digital artifacts, all of the machine generated data that tells you the whole story about what led up to the things that actually happened, right? Within the systems, within the interactions, within those systems, that's where Splunk is focused. And I think what the market as a whole is really validating is that that machine generated data, those digital artifacts are at least as important, if not more so, and the transactional artifacts to this whole digital transformation problem, right? They're critical to showing IT how to get better at developing and deploying and operating software, how to get better at securing these systems, and then how to take this real-time view of what the business looks like as it's executing in the software right now and hold that up to and inform the business and close that feedback loop Right. So what is it we want to do differently digitally in order to do different and better on the transformation side of the house? So I think a lot of Splunk's general growth is proof of the value prop and the need here for sure, as we're seeing play out specifically in the domains of IT operations, DevOps, cybersecurity, right? As well as more broadly in that, in that clo closing the business loop. Splunk's been on a tear in growing our footprint overall with our customers and across many new customers. We've been on a tear with moving parts of that footprint to an as a service offering in Splunk Cloud. But a lot of that overall growth is really fueled by just making it simpler, quicker, faster, cheaper, easier to operate Splunk at scale because the data is certainly not slowing down, right? There's more and more and more of it every day, more latent or potential value locked up in it. So anything that we can do and that our partners can do to improve the cost economics, to improve the agility, to improve the responsiveness of these systems is huge to that customer value prop. And that's where we get so excited about what's going on with GreenLake. Yeah, so that makes sense. I mean, a digital business is a data business and, and you, that means putting data at the core and Splunk is obviously a key part of that. So as I said earlier, Splunk, you're a leader in this space. What's the deal with your HPE relationship? You, you touched on that. What should we know about your, your partnership and what's that solution with, with H, HPE? 
What's that customer sweet spot? Yep, good, all good questions. So we've been working with HP for quite a while on a, on a number of different fronts. This green light piece is the most interesting and sort of the intersection of, you know, purest intersection of both of these threads or these vectors, if you will. So we've been working to take our core data platform deployed on an enterprise uh, operator for Kubernetes, stick that atop HPE's GreenLight, which is really Kubernetes as a service platform, and go prove performance, scalability, agility, flexibility, cost economics, starting with some of Splunk's biggest customers. And we've proven you know, all, all of those things in great measure. I think the opportunity, you know, the ability to vertically scale Splunk in containers atop beefy boxes and really streamline the automation, the orchestration, the operations, all of that yields what in the words of one of our mutual customers literally put it as this is a transformational platform for deploying and operating Splunk for us. So hard at work on the engineering side, hard at work on the architecture, referencing, sizing, you know, capacity planning sides, and then increasing really rolling up our sleeves and taking this stuff to market together. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing the, just the idea of cloud, the definition of cloud expanding, hybrid brings in on-prem, we talk about the edge, and, and I, really we've seen Splunk rapidly transitioning its pricing model to a subscription you know, platform, if you will. And of course, that's what GreenLake's all about. What makes Splunk a good fit for GreenLake and vice versa? What, what does it mean for customers? Sure, so a couple different parts, I think, make, make this a perfect marriage. Splunk at its core, if you're using it well, you're using it in a very iterative, discovery-driven, kind of follow the path to value basis. That makes it a little hard to plan the infrastructure and to size these things, right? We really want customers to be focused on how do I get more data in? How do I get more value out? And if you're doing it well, those things are going to go up and up and up over time. You don't want to be constrained by size and capacity planning procurement cycles for infrastructure. So in the GreenLake model, you know, customers got already deployed systems, already deployed capacity available on an as a service basis, very fast, very agile. If they need a next tranche of capacity to bring in that next data set or run that next set of analytics, Right, it's available immediately as a service, not, hey, we've got to kick off the procurement cycle for a whole bunch more hardware boxes. So that flexibility, that agility are key to the general pattern for using Splunk. And again, that ability to uh, vertically scale, stick multiple Splunk instances into containers and load more and more of those up on, on these physical boxes, right? Gives you great cost economics. You know, Splunk has a voracious appetite for data for doing analytics against that data. The less expensive we can make that processing, the better. And the ability to really fully sweat, you know, sweat the assets, fully utilize those assets, to that kind of vertical scale is, is the other great element of the GreenLake solution. Yeah, so I mean, when you think about the value prop for, for customers with Splunk and HPE GreenLake, it's a lot of what you would expect from what we used to talk about with the early days of, of cloud. Uh, that that flexibility uh, it takes it away a lot of the sort of mundane capacity planning. You can shift resources. You talked about you know scale in in a, in a number of, of 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 use cases. So that's sort of another in interesting angle, isn't it? Yeah, faster. It's the classic tech story: faster, quicker, cheaper, easier. Right? Just take them to whole whole new whole new levels and whole new extremes with these technologies. Skip, what do you see as the differentiators with Splunk and HPE? Maybe what's different from sort of the way we used to do things, but also sort of you know modern day competition. Yeah, good, all good, all good questions. So I think the general attributes of Splunk are differentiated, GreenLake are differentiated. I think when you put them together, you get this classic one plus one equals three story. So what I hear from a lot of our target customers big enterprises, big public sector customers, they, they can see the path to these benefits. They understand in theory how these different technologies would work together, but they're concerned about their own skills, their own abilities to go to build and run those. And the real beauty of GreenLake and Splunk is this all comes sort of pre-designed, pre-integrated, right? Pre-built 
HPE is in there providing these running containers as a service. So it's taking a lot of the skills and the concerns off the customer's plate, right? Allowing them to fast forward to you know, cutting edge technology without any of the risks. And then most importantly, allowing customers to focus their very finite resources, their peoples, their time, their money, their cycles on the things that are going to drive differentiated value back to the business. You know, let's face facts, buying and provisioning hardware is not a differentiating activity. Running containers successfully, not differentiating. Running the core of Splunk, not that differentiating. You can take all of those cycles and focus them instead on the on those simple mechanics. How do we get more data in, run more analytics on it and get more value out, right? Then you're on the path to really delivering differentiated, you know, sustainable competitive basis type stuff back to the business, back to that digital transformation effort. And so taking the skills out, taking the worries out, taking the concerns about new tech out, taking the procurement cycles out, improving scalability, again, quicker, faster, cheaper, better for sure. It's kind of interesting when you, when you look at the, how the parlance has evolved, you know, from cloud and then you had private cloud, we talk a lot about hybrid, but I'm interested in your thoughts on why Splunk and HPE Greenlight Green Lake now. I mean, what's happening in the market that makes this the right place and, and the right time, so to speak? Yeah, again, I'd put cloud right up there with big data as one of those really overloaded terms, right? That we keep keep redefining as we go. If we define it one way as, as an experience or set of outcomes that customers are looking for, right? What it, what does any one of our mutual customers really want? Well, they want capabilities that are quick to get up and running, that are fast to get to value that are aligned with how they price wise with how they deliver value to the business and that they can quickly change right as the needs of the business and the operations shift i think that's the outcome set that people are looking to certainly the early days of cloud we thought were synonymous with public cloud and hey the way that you get those outcomes is you push things out to public cloud providers you know what we saw is a lot of that motion and cases where there wasn't the best of alignment, right? You didn't get all those outcomes that you were hoping for, the cost savings weren't there. Or again, these big enterprises, these big organizations have a whole bunch of other workloads that aren't necessarily public cloud amenable, but what they want is that same cloud experience. And this is where you see the evolution into hybrid clouds and into private clouds. Yeah, you know, any one of our customers is looking across the entirety of this landscape. Things that are on-prem that are probably going to be on-prem forever, things that they're moving into private cloud environments, things that they're moving into or growing or expanding or landing net new and public cloud. They want those same outcomes, those same characteristics across all of that. That's a lot of Splunk's value prop as a provider. Right, is we can go monitor and help you operate and develop and secure exactly all of that, no matter where it's located. Splunk on GreenLake is all about that stack, you know, working in that very cloud native way, even where it made sense for customers to deploy and operate their own software, even if the Splunk they're running over here themselves is helping them monitor and secure other workloads that they put into their public cloud environments. Well, it's, it's, it's another key proof point that we're seeing throughout the day here. You know, software leader, you know, HPE, bring it together, it's ecosystem partners to actually deliver tangible value to the customers. Skip, it was great to hear your perspectives today. Really appreciate you coming on the program. My pleasure and thanks so much for having us. Take care, stay well. Yeah, cheers, you too. Okay, you'll keep it right there. We're going to go back to Keith now, yep. have him uh, end, uh, close out this segment uh, of the program. You're watching HPE GreenLake Day on theCUBE. All right, so we're seeing some great examples of how GreenLake is supporting a lot of different industries, a lot of different workloads. We just heard from Splunk, really as part of the ecosystem, really a data heavy workload. And we're seeing the progress, HPC example, manufacturing. We talked about healthcare, financial services, critical industries that are really driving toward this subscription model. So Keith, thanks again for joining us. Is there anything else that we haven't hit that you feel our audience should should know about? Yeah, you bet. You know, we didn't cover some of the new capabilities that are really providing customers with a holistic experience. 
to address their most demanding workloads with HPE GreenLake. So first is our GreenLake Managed Security Services. So this provides customers with an enterprise grade managed security solution that delivers lower costs and frees up a lot of their resources. The second is our HPE Advisory and Professional Services Group. So they help provide customers with tools and resources to explore their needs for their digital transformation. So think about workshops and trials and proof of concepts and all of that implementation. Uh, so you get the strategy piece, you get the advisory piece, and then you get the implementation piece that's required uh, to help them get started really quickly. And then third would be our HPE Esmeral software portfolio. So this provides customers with the ability to modernize their apps and data unify hybrid cloud and edge computing, and operationalize artificial intelligence and machine learning and analytics. You know, I'm glad that you brought in the sort of machine intelligence piece in the machine learning, because that's a lot of times that's the reason why people want to go to the cloud. At the same time, you, you bring in the security piece, a lot of reasons why people want to keep things on-prem. And of course, the use cases here we're talking about are really bringing that cloud experience, that consumption model on-prem. I think it's critical for, critical for companies because they're expanding their notion of cloud computing, really extending into hybrid and, and the edge with that similar experience or substantially the same experience. So I think folks are going to look at today's news as real progress. We're pushing you guys on some milestones and some, some proof points toward this vision. It's a critical juncture for organizations, especially those, look, they're looking for comprehensive offerings to drive their digital transformations. Your thoughts, Keith? Yeah, no, you, you know, we know as many as 70% of current and future apps and data are going to remain on-prem. They're going to be in data centers, they're going to be in colos, they're going to be at the edge. And, you know, really for critical reasons. And so hybrid is key, as you mentioned a number of times. We want to help customers transform their businesses and really drive business outcomes in this hybrid multi-cloud world with HPE GreenLake and our targeted solutions. Excellent. Well, Keith, thanks again for coming on the program. Really appreciate your time. Always, always. Thanks so much for having me and, and take, take care and stay healthy, please. All right, keep it right there, everybody. You're watching HPE GreenLake Day on theCUBE.